What's up you guys at Flipptronics? I'm going to be showing you guys how to block the IP address on any iPhone you might be using. So in order to do this you're going to need to use a VPN service which I'm going to show you the one I recommend in a second but if you want to block the IP you might uh, be downloading you know movies torrents that you might be streaming. You don't want your service provider to see that um, which is something that I do all the time that's why I use one. You might uh, you know want to access a restricted website not available in your country and then the third reason you might want to you know, be hiding your IP is because you don't want Google to track you uh, or you want to fake the location on your iPhone. Whatever the reason is, um, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. It's super easy to do with the method I'm going to be showing you. Um, and it's going to be with a service called ExpressVPN. So this is what I use. It's a paid service. I'll have a link in the description if you guys want to check it out. But basically how it works is um, it's literally activated with the touch of a button. Um, the thing about this service is, is that uh, I need it. So you know, I download lots of stuff on my iPhone and I stream it, you know, um, you know, to my TV. So I'm constantly downloading things. Uh, but anyways, there's an app that they have in the app store, which is, you know, obviously free to download. Um, you know, it's got a lot of good reviews on it, but it's literally with the touch of a button. Uh, this will allow you to, you know, block the IP address on your iPhone. So it's really easy to use. Um, it's very user friendly too, which is why I recommend it. Another thing that's awesome about using this app is that you can use it on multiple devices. So if you want to use it like on a Mac, you could do that. You could use it on uh, Android, you could use it on Windows. So, I mean, you could use it for everything with one account. So, I'm going to show you guys how it works, and then I'm going to talk a little bit more about it. And then I'm going to show you um, how to check that, you know, the IP address has been blocked on your iPhone. So, um, anyways, I'm going to go to over to Google first, and I'm going to just type in what is my IP. So, let's just do that. So, what is my IP? Um, right now, it's you can see it's 50.1. Um, and now I'm going to turn ExpressVPN on and I'm going to show you guys exactly, you know, what it's going to do for you. So you do have to allow it um, in your settings in order for this to, uh, you know, work. But all right. So anyways, I'm logged into it. Now all I have to do is touch the button here and it'll say that it's turned on. All right. So now let's go back to Google. Let's type in what is my IP. And you guys can see it's completely changed. Um, there will be a little uh, kind of like notification in the top left hand corner that says VPN. That's another way uh, you can know that, you know, this is turned on and, you know, it's now, you know, blocking your IP address so nobody can uh, track you. Um, now, the thing about this service is, is that uh, it does cost money. It's like $8 a month. And I've said it before when I've talked about ExpressVPN is that I kind of look at it like a Netflix subscription, you know, because this is like something I need personally but you know there's a lot of good uses for it um, other than you know trying to block downloads you know from your service provider which is what I you know do but you can get that you know online privacy um, and another thing about them is that this is the number one VPN service on the internet currently so I mean you know uh, this is where you want to go um, it's the one I've been using I've been using this for well over I'd probably say probably getting up to two years now I've been using ExpressVPN, so I mean, for me, it's definitely something that I need. Um, but you know, this is a really easy way to uh, you know block the IP. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, if you need to hide the IP or block it on your iPhone. Um, I recommend going with this option because it's safe and secure. There are some other options in the App Store that are free, but a lot of the time when I've checked those out in the past, they're filled with ads and viruses. So I would stay away from that, the free stuff because, you know, honestly, it's not worth it. So anyways, if you want to check that, check out ExpressVPN, I'll have a link in the description for it. Hit me up in the comments uh, if you have any questions about them or any questions about blocking the IP on your iPhone and I'll, you know, definitely help you guys out. I'd also appreciate if you guys hit the like and share button on this video. If you're watching this and haven't had a chance to subscribe to us yet, hit that subscribe and we'll see you guys later.